Hey everybody. Well, today is Monday. Wednesday is the day of the op. Uh, today I spent all day vlogging, basically. I got many videos made. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be spending most of the day with Mrs. Spice, although I may go out and make a couple more vlogs. But there was somewhat of a fuck up. Quite a serious fuck up. <laughs> and I thought it affected all the videos I made today, but thank fuck it was only the first two. Basically, I hadn't plugged my mic in fully, and it was giving a lot of um, like peaking, scratching noises. You'll hear it later on, because there's a little piece of video which I need to show you. And basically, it's to do with, you remember, sending out one of Betty's sprockets, get it to go around the country, etc, etc. Well, that video is the one that got fucked up more than any of the others. So I'm going to go back through the first part of that video, which was completely annihilated by that sound, and explain the deal. Uh, but the last bit of video I use, you're going to have to just put up with a few crackles and shit um, because that's actually me depositing said item. So as you know, said plan is the sprocket will travel around, bike will pick it up, record picking it up, taking it wherever you're going to take it, where you've left it, make a video, put it on YouTube, and uh, that will be added to a playlist and then the next person can find it and so on and so forth. So it is imperative that you have the ability to film picking it up taking it somewhere and dropping it off and getting that video on YouTube to go onto the playlist. If you can't do those things for definite, don't touch it. Because obviously that's the whole point, it has to be on film. It won't work otherwise. Now one of the things I have been asked by a few people is, oh I'd love it if it came my way. Obviously, um, I'd love if you really want to be part of it to be part of it, but there's no way of me controlling that because the whole point of this thing is that it is controlled by the people that pick it up each time. If you want to take it 5 miles, 10 miles, 20 miles, 100 miles, that's completely up to you. I'm not controlling where this is going. The only control I have over it is where I originally placed it. One of the other little issues was some people said, wouldn't it be good to send it over to like Jake or get it into America? It sounds like a good idea, but the problem is there isn't many vloggers out there, so they might have to travel hundreds or possibly thousands of miles or thousand miles between where the vloggers are. In England, there's millions of us, so no one's going to have to travel more than a couple hundred miles for it to be within range of someone who wants to get involved. So I think it definitely should stay within the UK for a while, obviously, because that'll give it its best chance to go through as many people's hands as possible. So this is the basic procedure you need to follow to be part of this. You have to film yourself going up to get it. Um, then, if you can film yourself on the journey of wherever you take it, you can take it as far a distance as you like or as short a distance. As long as you get that video in to say where it's been moved to and you can get a good link on there so people are not going to have problems finding it. Don't put it on private land. Don't put it somewhere dangerous. But it needs to be hidden enough that it's not going to get found. So, okay, so you've moved it. you filmed that bit, putting it, you know, finding it and putting it um, wherever you've taken it into a video which you then upload to YouTube, you then send to me, gets added to the playlist, posted on, posted on my Facebook, and that way everyone knows what's going on. Um, obviously I can't guarantee that two people aren't going to try and collect it at once, um, and the one person will get to it first and then the other person will come along and be like, ah oh, fuck I just drove 200 miles and it's not there now. I can't control that. Um, so I don't know what to say about that one. <laughs> so that is the basic procedure of moving it and being part of this. Um, I'll now leave you with me placing it uh, where I've left it. And it is there as far as I know. It was only done a couple of hours ago, well, a few hours ago. As I say, apologies for that crackling noise. <laughs> I'm as annoyed about it as you will be listening to it, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm hoping that you all know where I am now. This is the lookout, Portsdown Hill. I will supply some uh, links in the description as to where this place is. because it's going to be in relation to this place where I'm going to place it. Okay. I have got a place in mind. It's not that car park. It's basically the next one. So, you know, left out of the Ports Downhill lookout. Keep going along. You need to be going past 
the massive cannon. Past the Fort Whitley Equestrian Center. And then it's the turning on the right. Good luck with this turning because people are assholes around here. <laughs> like this guy. Okay, so we've turned in. We've missed a gear because we're a pro. And it's going to be down this bit, I think. Oh, I'm going to stick it. Okay, so of course, the part that is going around is one of Betty's old sprockets. Let's keep her moving around the country. So, that is in there. There is a notebook. I've written my first entry. Each person needs to write their bit in. There is a pen in the box, because I'm nice like that. This is what it looks like. As you can see, Spice 110, mobile geocache. Please do not move unless you know where, what this is. bushy thing. This looks like a good spot. Uh, they're not going to cut this field edge, so down in there. Looks pretty hidden. It's got a few nettles around it, so keep your gloves on. We reverse out this post here. This tree here. This lookout here with this roundabout here. Post to the right of the bush. Yeah, I'm going to turn know, around to someone and say, My, you're fucking I'm short! Just, can you grab that off the bottom shelf for us? Do you think they're going to go short on our worries? They're going to tell me to fuck off! Because it's okay to say, My, 